I, I just got uh, Luann asking me this question. How do you search for someone or some topic in a chat? Is there a way? Absolutely. One of my favorite things to do with Skype chats, um, including uh, Skype rooms. Now, I think I might have to pause this for a minute. Okay. Uh, it's actually a two-step process. If you just do Control F, uh, Control F, you get this window open up. Okay. Now, let's say I know that there was something that we talked about in the past, so I'm just going to use some words that I'm sure were there. Um, I would like your new, looks like it's limiting the number of characters there. Your, I would like your new Skype tips. And there it found it. Um, I would like to, I would like your new Skype tips. That, and that was a long time ago. That was, if we mouse over the time, you can see Monday, July, 18, 2011. Okay, and it's 2012, right? It's like more than a year later. Well, the second part of this that most people uh, forget is in, in searching a chat is that you have to show messages from and uh, show, you know, like if you don't know how far back it was, then you show way at the beginning. This, this I said the beginning, and I had already clicked it or if it was a year ago, if it was six months, or three months, or 30 days, or seven days, or yesterday. Um, obviously, the less, the faster. But that was pretty fast. That was pretty fast. And it looks like we were, we've been connected since uh, 2009, 9, 10, 11, 12, three years, right? Almost. Anyway, and if you're looking for a person, um, let's look for the person, Luann. There you are. And if I want to look for the next one, there's the next one. And there's the next one. And there's the next one. There's the next one. <laughs> if you're looking for a person's name, you can just put their name in here and search for them. Um, I think that's pretty much it. You do Control-F the on your keyboard, Control-F, which opens up this uh, Find field. And you can use the... Uh, you put a, a keyword in there that you're searching for that you know has been used, and then you hit next uh, or previous. And don't forget to show messages from enough history so that you can actually get something to happen. Next. There you are. 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 <laughs> so that's how you do it. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching my Skype dips. Don't forget to log in to seeyouonskype.com for more Skype tips. That's my new membership site. See you on Skype. Bye for now. Okay, I'm going to add that if if you're looking for a person in a Skype room, uh, a group Skype chat, or what I call a Skype room, here I'm going to hold the control and F key again, and I'll open up this window right here, okay? Um, then when I showed the example of the person, um, it was just a single, a private chat, a private message chat with Luann. But that really works well uh, with a room like this. So let's look for Hyla. Okay, so this is a group chat, and I can go and I can find all the times that there's Hyla posting a message. And there's me talking to Hyla. So that's really more of a better example of searching for a person. We can look for Andy, Andy Cummings. Oh. And it's not finding anything. That's because I don't have enough messages. Let's show six months worth of messages. There he is. There he is again. Well, it's also finding handy. <laughs> so, uh, and there he is again. So, yeah, searching for a person's name becomes useful in a group chat, obviously. <laughs> 
And uh, again, don't forget that if you don't have enough uh, showing, let's look for Skype version, it's not finding anything. How about the last 30 days? Has the word come up? No. How about the last three months? Has the word come up? Yes. Okay. A couple times. So that's how to use this um, search field here. That's how you search a chat. It could be a private chat like I first showed with Luann, or it can be a group chat with many people, a Skype room. Thanks for watching. See you on Skype.